Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and welcome to another video cooking lesson from the Seasoned Cook. Today, I will answer the question for you of how to make thyme-flavored roasted half onions to be served as a vegetable or can be used for a number of other things. I have here a half a dozen small Spanish onions that I cut in half and I left the skins on them. I'm going to cut the last one in half and we're going to put it up here. And we're just going to get a little bit of olive oil on these onions to start with. And then we are going to hit them with some salt, some pepper, and some fresh thyme. Let's start with the salt and pepper. We're going to roast these in the skin slowly. These, these onions are going to be so juicy and flavorful when we're done for such a small amount of work that it's certainly worth doing this lesson for this. I'm going to be using these with some roast pork tomorrow or later today. So I have some fresh thyme here. And that I already picked, but I picked it just like so. Picking thyme is sometimes tedious, but it's well worth it. So I'm going to chop that up a little bit. And we're going to put some of it on these onions, making sure that we get the time on each individual onion. And we're not sprinkling this time on from up here and it's ending up all over the pan. individual onion I'm making sure that it gets its share of the thyme. Don't forget I'm calling these thyme roasted onions. So okay that's that. Now I have a hot pan over here and we are going to put Oh, a couple of ounces of whole unsalted butter in the pan. Three ounces to be exact. And we're going to turn the onions face down inside this pan. We're going to slightly saute these onions on the stove before we pop them in the oven. And when we pop them in the oven, we're going to put a little splash of water in the pan just to make sure we don't get any burning. We're going to cook these onions slowly in a 300 degree oven until these onions are tender enough to eat. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to, I'm going to pop, no, you know, I'm going to put them on the stove. And we'll saute them for a couple of minutes. I'll fast forward for a couple of minutes then we'll come right back and when I when you can see how brown they are, then we'll pop them in the oven. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes they've been sautéing. They look good, and they look like they're ready for the oven. I'll give you, let's take a look at these so you can see what I mean. You see how we got a little brown there? Got a little brown there, not overly brown. Looks good. Now I'm going to put a splash of water in there, two or three ounces. Enough to keep that nice and moist. I'm going to pop this in a 300, 325 degree oven until they're tender enough to eat. And part of the reason I want to use that water in there is because when it's all said and done, after they're cooled and then being reheated to be served, we're going to take what's left out of that pan, if we have anything, and drizzle it all over the onions. Because don't forget, the onions are going to give off their sugar as part of what comes out of that onion besides water that's in the onion throughout the cooking process. So we're going to have a sweet, buttery, watery juice when we're all said and done. So I'm going to fast forward now for an hour and a half, hour, something like that. I'll let you know when I come back. Okay, these beautiful thyme onions have been cooking for two and a half hours. I added no additional liquid to it. Partly, I didn't need to because the temperature has been so low in the oven. Let's get them out and let's get them up here. Let's 
and we'll get a little look at them before they cool off. And uh, I will let's see what those bad boys look like in there. Oh, look at that. That looks good. See how nice those look? These are definitely tender enough to eat. As you can see here, these are soft, very soft. And so let's let them cool off. Let's, wait a minute, let's, let's take a look at a couple more. Oh, yeah. These are some cute little boys here. They look great. All right, so we'll let them cool off. Then we'll get them out of here. I'll show you how to take the skin off. And then we will have staged them completely to be re used reheated or not reheated. Because you can cut these in half and put them on a salad. You can serve them with all kinds of cold things, too. You don't have to necessarily serve them with things that are hot. So after these are cool, we'll come back and kind of manage them a little bit more for you. Okay, the onions have been sitting around for a couple of hours. They're completely cooled off. And what I've done here is I've taken the skins off of a big percentage of them. And I left two or three here to do for you. These are nice and soft and tender. And just get those most undesirable parts off the bat, off the, off of the outside of them. And you see, they're all, I'm leaving this little piece on here to keep them all intact. It depends on how you want to serve them. I mean, you could certainly take these and cut them in half and use them on salads or whatever it is you want to use them on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to serve them now as they are. You can either microwave these a little bit and serve them hot as a family style thyme roasted half onion or you can serve them cold. I'm going to take the thyme butter that was in the bottom of the pan which has a lot of flavor and drizzle them on here. So we got all that flavor from the roasting process there and we'll just sprinkle it with a little chopped parsley for now to keep it simple. But these are so delicious. They're a combination of a uh, sautéed onion and an onion roasted in its, in its skin, which I have a video for you for, um, which is roasting shallots and onions in their skins. And this is like a half version of that with some sautéing and flavor being infused into it, in this case with the butter and the thyme. So I hope I answered the question for you, which is how to roast half onions with fresh thyme.